I just want to echo again, thank Jeremy and Courtney because it, you can tell that you guys have put some time and thought into both your discussions tonight. Thank you guys for the time you put into those. Uh, Chris isn't here, but definitely you guys probably all know Chris Fisher puts a lot of his own personal time and, and lo loses a lot of sleep for that. So thank thankful for him and all of our law enforcement. So, that's all I got. Wolf. Yeah, Matt, that's going to be a great, a great, I was 100% behind it. I mean, it's just, it's really going to be a good thing. In this sensory, sensory park, you know, I had Blue Ridge Independent Living Center contact me today to, to do a bid on, on a high fence for a severely autistic child. And we need this park. Or any way we can get it, we need this park. I'm behind that too. You know, uh, and I did make it to the Chamber of Commerce meeting, my first one, and I didn't miss it, and I wasn't late. <laughs> you know, it, it, I learned when I, when, when I go to other people's churches on my path, I look and see what they're doing to see if I can use it to improve my church. So when I went there, I said, what can we use to, to improve Clifton Fords? This, this really blew my mind when they gave me this. This is City of Covington Parks and Recreation Special Event. And it's not just a, a blank piece of paper like this. It's something that's eye catcher. When you see it lands or you want to pick it up, you want to read it. You know? And it gives the yearly the yearly events. You know, and, and Covington hands this out during the payment. I thought it was just a, just a great idea to to advertise our yearly events on, I, I realize people use Facebook and stuff, but uh, I think something like this still works. And there, the this football, they want to play three games a year, possibly more. That's and it's a big following, you know. But somehow we have to work out money. It costs our our church is going to be paying $930 insurance for this football game to be played here. Just liability. Yeah, liability. So uh, they want to play one more game here this year. The, the, uh, the last home game they want to play here. And it's a big following. I mean, these people are going to be coming. When you bring the kids, I know in church, when you get the kids, the parents are going to follow and they're going to come into town and spend money. So if you could get four games in Clifton Ford a year with followings out of Bluefield, West Virginia, out of that field, Dale Collinsville, who's coming Saturday to play, you know, and, and this is a community event because you have children on this team from Bath County, Covington, and Allegheny on this team. So I think that's a really a good thing. You know, so somehow I'm going to figure out how to to get the second game this year put in, and and they claim it's a big falling. And and if you if you look at if you ever at AET Park in Covington travel league softball, you never knew COVID even existed. Because it, it was jam-packed, bumper to bumper, elbow to elbow. I'm like, this is crazy, man. You know, it was crazy. And, and, and that many people still came out just for sporting events, you know. I tell people, hey, Wednesday night church is almost extinct because they play ball on, on Wednesday, you know. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I think it's going to be a great thing. I, I would like for you to tell all your friends. And, and come up there Saturday night at 6.30, even if you only stay to half time, and, and just see what's happening. I think you're going to be one of our referees, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Dale's going to be one of our state-sanctioned referees. I'll stay, I'll stay till half time. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So we'll be up there, and we'll have our banners, our church banners and stuff up, just to let people know. And we may be, we're not going to charge admission, but we may set up a bucket, a box for donations. So that we can do this again, it won't be so hard on, on everyone. But I'm I'm excited, man. You know, I tell people, uh, football has come back to Memorial Park after a long 
three steps. So. And thank you, Courtney and Jeremy, for all y'all have done. I mean, you're doing a great job. Uh, and that's all I have. All right, first of all, um, yes, Courtney and Jeremy, thank you all so much for your presentations. I'm very excited to see what comes out of all of those because they're conservation and their recreation, and um, I am I'm very excited about anything that is inclusive for children with special needs. So that that is a really exciting um, prospect coming to, uh, hopefully coming to Clifton Forge someday. Um, of course, uh, Chris has already left. I'm really happy to see the, uh, the the youth bike rodeo is coming back. I did participate that in that when I was a law enforcement officer, and that is a great program. I hope that they get a good uh, uh, turnout for that this year, and I hope that's a, a big success. Um, Chuck, thank you for all the work you're doing on CMS thing. This is huge. I'm excited. We need that here badly. I mean, I really actually read all of those reports that we get every, every, before every meeting, and we really need this, and so that is super exciting. Um, I will be at the cleanup. Hope to see everybody there. So, um, might make it to a football game. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> that sounds pretty fun, too. Uh, but, yeah, thank you all for all your hard work, and thank you for coming out tonight. Vice Mayor. Yes. All right. All right, Courtney, I really like what you're doing. I've worked with those for a long, long time. <clears throat> I've been involved in a couple of them. I don't like to get involved because the more I get involved, the more people don't do anything and I get stuck doing it by myself. I'm not interested. Solar, my wife and I are looking to buy an electric car. We need a solar panel on our light on our pole so we can hook our car up to it. Hopefully that will take place. Um, we by the theater today. Debbie and I dropped off nine more cases of pop. That means the, the Kroger's and Food Lion of this county have given 110 12 packs of pop and water to the Masonic. Last week they had, last Sunday they had 80 people yeah. show up for a movie and ate popcorn donated by somebody and hot dogs donated by Shorty. It was good. A lot of good things. Um, Ray's not here, but I want to thank Ray, Gavin, you, and you, Jerry, for covering this and the things that you cover so I get to watch it without having to go to them. I'm telling you guys, the next 18 months in Allegheny County with the mergers of the schools and all the things that are going to take place, I'd like to say it'll be interesting, but I think that's a grossly understatement. We've got to protect our kids. We have got to protect our kids. And I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, I will tell you that um, I've applied to, in, to try to be on the school board. I will meet with them in May, and they'll dress me down. If I make the school board, I can no longer do this. I'll have to resign. But if I'm not on the school board, I'm going to do this. But if this community wants to survive as a community, We've got to stop overlooking our children. We've got to protect them and educate them. And the COVID has really given us a bum steer academically in this county. Mr. Irvin works there. He deals with it every day. Next year, Allegheny school system could start and be down anywhere from 25 to 35 teachers in the school system. And that means class sizes will get very large. We need teachers. So if you have friends that are teach, you don't have to be a teacher. If you have a friend that's graduated from college, Allegheny County will hire you. My wife or I get at least three phone calls a week asking us to come back. No, thank you. But if we all the stuff we talk about, if we're not thinking of our children, we're wasting our time. <clears throat> why I like Chris Fisher. His deal is all about the kids. All about the kids. Chris Fisher does not be, is not paid enough for what he does for the kids of this county. Thank you guys for coming. Sorry, Mr. Mayor, that's it. Thank you. I'd like to thank y'all, everyone, for coming tonight, all five of you. <laughs> uh, thanks to Courtney and Jeremy for all they do on 
you want to see it and you for the part. Um, I want to thank Chris for all his hard work again on the rodeo. I said what I had to say for him. I really appreciate him. And just speaking of the theater, I went to the theater on Friday night for the ventriloquist. That was one of the best shows I've been to in a long time. I had a whale of a time. I like to see more people from Clifton attend these programs, but you don't know what you're missing. It is wonderful. That was wonderful. Uh, I also like to thank the theater for the 80 people at the movies. I mean, that is a great number. Hope we can continue that. And that's about all I have, and I hope the Lord be with everybody and bless everybody for another month.